Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up a Cosmos Cloud with a custom domain. So at the end of this tutorial, you should be able to go on your container and have a subdomain on uh, as a wildcard domain on your main domain. So this makes it to where you can create containers and then uh, be able to have a real domain to go to. So a little bit about this series is I'm going over a, a home lab. So I'm going to go over installing things, getting things running, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So I just wanted to shout out the people who suggested this video and uh, let me know to make it. So um, one was the Cosmos uh, developer, and then uh, one was on the Big Bear community. And uh, so if you have any video suggestions, uh, let me know. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to point your domain. You need to get a public domain from a, uh, a domain provider. And you need to go into your DNS records, whatever that is. And um, you need to, um, I'm going to turn off pro proxy. Make sure you turn off that so it can see the IPv4 for, for the let Let's Encrypt side. So, um, if you want this directly on the domain, you would do at, and then that would put it directly on the domain, and then the, and then direct it to the IP address of your home. So if you want a subdomain, like you can do co Cosmos, if I can spell, like Cosmos, and then you put your, your IP address of your home in here, and then you just go down here and you press save. So once you do that, you will have your domain directing to the IP address of your home and now you can go into your router and you can port forward so you're directing all traffic to from the domain of your public domain in Cloudflare and then you're directing it to the IP address of your home or or the public IP address of your business or wherever you're hosting this at and then now the traffic is getting to your home or or business and now it's going to go to your router. Once it goes to your router, your router is going to need to know what to do with it. So you're going to go into your router and you're going to, uh, on the WAN address, on the destination of the WAN address, you're going to uh, put the ports in of 80 and 443. And then you're going to put the two ports in of 80 and 443. This web server port is just alias for 80 and 443. And then now, once you do that, uh, that port will be working, and then now you need to redirect the target IP address to a single host, and then that will be this, uh, this IP address for your Cosmos Cloud. And once you redirect all traffic to Cosmos Cloud, it will be in the hands of the proxy of Cosmos Cloud to direct it inside the Docker containers. So now we need to get Cosmos Cloud up and running by installing it. So I'm going to type in the docker run command and then it's up. You can see it's up by looking at the container. It's created three seconds ago. So now we will go over to the setup page and get the domain on there. So once you run the docker run command for Cosmos Cloud, you should go to the IP address and you should see a welcome right here. And I'm gonna do a clean install. And I'm going to say start right here. It says Docker is installed and running. So I'm going to automatically create a secure database. You can supply your own database credentials if you want to for MongoDB. You can disable the management UI. So I'm going to automatically create a secure database. So now it's going to pull it from Docker Hub and it's going to say database is connected. So what, what that did was it pulled Mongo, uh, the latest tag, d down from d a Docker Hub and then installed it on the Docker side. <clears throat> and then now I'm going to say next. This is where you'll put your domain in. So my domain is cosmosbbtw.xyz. So now it's detected that it's a real domain and you can see that it is pointing to your IP address. Um, so I'm going to select the choice. I'm going to select HTTPS, uh, automatic. 
with Let's Encrypt. And then you're going to put a Let's Encrypt uh, email in. So I'm going to do Okay, now once you put your email in, you can um, say update. Okay, now you're gonna put your username and your password in to log into the management console. So now I'm gonna say create. And then now it's done and it's up. So I'm gonna say apply and restart. Once you do that, you should be on the your domain now. So now you can just log in. Down the wrong password. Okay, now you're, you're logged in, and you can see in the configuration that. The cosmos.bbtw.xyz is working and up and it also pulled a let's encrypt certificate so that's good and now we're up and running with our own domain so now i want to show you how to set up um the dns uh for let's encrypt so the dns challenge so this will make it to where you can use wildcard uh, certificates so you can have subdomains for each uh, container that's in Cosmos Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to make sure it's on Let's Encrypt. I'm going to do a DNS challenge setup right here. So we're going to need to uh, create an IP, an API token inside of Cloudflare. And we're, we're going to need to set the remissions DNS edit and zone read and then we'll fill in the uh, Cloudflare API key and then it should be good to go and working. So you'll need to go back into your DNS provider and you'll need to set up an A record for and then we're going to do Cosmos. So anything for Cosmos the the main one is going to uh, match and then it's going to send it to the home's IP address and then make sure pro proxy status is off. Okay, so now we got the DNS record set up for the wildcard domain. So now I'm going to start on the Cloudflare dashboard. I'm going to go to, up to your profile right here, your My Profile. Then I'm going to go to API Tokens and I'm going to create a token. I'm going to scroll down to get started on the Create Custom Token. I'm going to name this token Cosmos Cloud DNS. So now we're going to give it permissions. We're going to give it a DNS of edit because we want it to edit the DNS. And then we're going to do zone again. We're going to scroll down to zone. Then we're going to say read. So you can edit the DNS and then read the zones. So now I'm going to say continue to summary and then you can see that it's set up on all zones. Okay, create token. Okay, now you're going to copy your token and we're going to go into the Cosmos Cloud and set it up. So we copied the token, we, we set up the API uh, key and everything like that. So I'm going to type in my Cloudflare email. And this is just a testing account. It's not really a real account. And I'm going to put my API key in there. And if you notice, it's an it's an alias. So, so it'll work. So now you can scroll all the way down and you can press save. And when you do that, you can also go ahead and up here, I'm going to put my so you, you put your a root domain in, see a root domain, and then I'm going to put um, my, my root no, domain is cosmos. And then cosmos, 
BBTW. So cosmos.bbtw.xyz is my root domain. And then I'm going to set up wildcard for anything before cosmos. And if you remember, we did set up a DNS record for that. So this runs with a DNS record. So we should have DNS uh, challenge set up. So now we're going to scroll all the way down to save. So we're going to just check out real quick and uh, just install a, um, a marketplace app just to see if it does uh, detect the domain correctly. So we're going to just do uptime Kuma and you can see right here it did do it correctly and it is set up. So I just walked you through step by step on getting a custom domain set up on Cosmos Cloud. This makes it to where you don't have to use the IP anymore. You can use your own domain and then you have a, a, a HTTPS certificate set up uh, from Let's Encrypt. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need any support or you have any video suggestions, you can go down in the Big Bear community in the description and join our Discord or you can comment down below. So stay tuned for more.